Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. So it's just like the whole week is supposed to be rainy and gray. So I think we're going to have like really ho-hum lighting in the room the next little while. So but that's okay, right? It's atmosphere. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, I am being drawn to do my pyramid layout for you with the Muse Tarot. So I'm kind of terrified because the pyramid reading, there's a lot of communication between cards in that for me. There isn't like cards are not specifically sitting in a spot and represent something. So I have to really sit and see what the cards are saying. And sometimes they play back and forth. Like even the top card can be talking to one of the bottom cards. And the Muse Tarot, I find just for me, is one of, I wouldn't call it the hardest, but the most in depth with messages that it can have. So I feel like this reading is about to challenge me on a couple of levels, but it's what I'm being called to do. So I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, and see what we get for you. The um, There will be an extended as well at the end of this reading. The If this one resonates with you and you're drawn to the extended, the link is at the top of the description in this video for that. So Saggies, let's get started and see what this challenge is that Spirit has for me to convey a message to you. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, already out. The first card you have is the Hierophant. It's such an interesting card. Be prepared for this likely to be perhaps like a deeper message here about things, not just surface level of what is going on in your life. I am hoping it will represent something going on in your life, but it will be deeper level here, particularly with this deck and this spread. I'm going to show you the cards so that you can see the images and then I need a second. I need a hot minute, Zaj. If I spend too much time, I might fast forward a portion of the video. Um, the Herofint. Six of Inspiration, which is like the Six of Wands. The Tower. Three of Inspiration, like the Three of Wands. Queen of Voices, like the Queen of Swords. Whoa, he's got a lightning strike there. The Wheel, like the Wheel, the Wheel of Fortune. Thunder. Justice, feels like so, you know what I need to do? Okay, I'm gonna stop. For Justice, we got three more cards. We have like thunder and rain and lightning. We need to light the candle. Let's light the candle. I feel mean, like we're doing like a really, like you've come into my tent, traveler. Come in out of the rain and let me read some cards for you. Nine of emotions, nine of cups. Oh, that's better. See, we need, I actually needed that extra light. The six of emotions, the six of cups. And then the four of emotions, the four of cups. Okay, part of me feels like too. I just oh, I didn't show you the bottom. I have to start talking, and then everything's gonna come out. Um, the Queen of Materials and the Three of Voices are at the bottom. So there's something here. I feel like like the underlying energy of all of this has something to do with a point of um, abundance, creative stability. I feel like she's coming out of something, seeing something. It's almost like she's reaching beyond what has hurt her in the past. He or she is reaching beyond what has hurt her in the past. Him or her. I'm just saying because it's a Muse Tarot. So they're all 
um, feminine description. So please do. Like if you're masculine or feminine, it's just the deck. So I might slip into that. Um, the Hierophant and the Six of Inspiration. This is finding, I feel like you're on some sort of a path here. You're really being guided and directed. Whether you know it or not, Sagittarius. I'm feeling that right here with these cards. Do you see the um, this little formation of people here? They're all working together. And this is almost like I got the fe same feeling with the domino effect. And I'm hearing the domino, the domino effect. And look at it changes. It goes from all these little white figures to like these black dominoes. And then between that is the tower, like some sort of major change. But it's like you're the major change. You're the major change here. You see, it's just almost like you've looked up at something bigger and grander than you and it's inspired you towards something for yourself. It's inspired you to something for yourself that you've seen that's bigger and grander than you. And the universe has said, okay, let's take you along here. Let's do it. And by that happening, it, you know, like certain things could be falling into place. You might run into certain obstacles. Things could be changing and shifting around you, but it's all being represented by sort of like this line of little guides. Let's get going along here because it's the six of inspiration too of wands. Like it's success. It's finding success. You see success in something. You've been inspired or even on a way like you become the inspiration. You go from being inspired to becoming the inspiration here. And then it's like along that little journey, you say, oh, wait a second. I got to make a change. So it kind of like causes all this, the little white minion spirit guides to fall away. Everything sort of falls away. I This is so significant right now. We have this. It is like a thunder and lightning storm out there. And here you are with this lightning, like you're electrified. You electrify everything. But by doing that, you change the path again. You change the path. And the three of inspiration, like the three of wands, it's a little bit as if, you know, what you've planted seeds for in the past, get ready, it's coming in. But there's a different road to go on now. So you had the little white spirit guide minions taking you this way. You've made some sort of clarification for yourself or you've harnessed, it's inspired you. I, maybe this is the point where you inspire yourself and then, but this is a domino effect. So it's almost as if now the road that you take, the path that you have taken it leads you, it continues to kind of guide and lead you to what's going to get to this inspirational energy that you're harnessing and focusing and manifesting with. But now it's like a domino effect. So it's as if bringing everything into alignment. But you couldn't have done that until you, you created some sort of a catastrophic change. This, the middle row here is really intriguing. Um, it's really significant because you have the wheel and the justice card sitting right beside each other. It's actually, well, you have the queen, the queen of voices or swords, the wheel, like the wheel of fortune and justice. So you've put yourself on a new karmic path here. And that's what it feels like kind of happened at the bottom. And then up here, this is talking about you continue to have this guidance around you but I feel like more like you actually kind of become the guide like you kind of take control of the wheel which is I'm seeing here it's like kind of taking control of the wheel you're doing something unexpected or you're about to do something unexpected here but it shifts things and it's almost like finding a new level of yourself a new conscious level of yourself here Sagittarius, you transform, because what I see here is the colors, all of the colors in their outfits are the same as all of the colors that are around here. It's almost like you take control of the wheel, where this is going, where you want to take it, take yourself, a project, an idea, whatever that is for you, 
you kind of take control of it. And in doing that, things that were maybe not working in your favor, you switch it, right? With the wheel, the wheel of fortune, you switch fortunate events around you, misfortune around, you just switch it. And so you take this energy that wasn't serving you and then it almost is like it transforms into something that helps you. This justice card feels so much like judgment too. Like reborn again, pulling away not only the mask of who you were before down here where the process started. This is where the process started. It's almost as if you saw something. You saw something and it could be something so obscure that it could just be reading about a story of some, I'm hearing femme fatale. Like it could be someone from the past that was just doing something that was very different for the time, ahead of their time. It could have been a sculpture, a piece of artwork. It could have been something that someone else was doing at work. And it's, you're not copying that. You're not, it's, it's not that. It's definitely an, a feeling of inspiration, but then you become the inspiration. Like, this is what I mean. You take something, you take take something that inspires you, but you completely put your own twist on it. And that could just be like living your, your full genuine life here. And going through that process that I described below, and you transform yourself. This, this old you sort of peels away. Because you have a clarity. You come into this, this transformation, this shifting the cycle with a very strong degree of clarity. It's like you turn these dominoes. Every time you come into something that's guiding you, you sort of go with it. And then all of a sudden you take it and you, I don't want to say you manipulate it because it's not manipulative energy. It's, um, I mean, you just transform it. You become the leader in it. That's what happens here. It's like you come into a situation and you're being led. You're being led by something that inspires you. And then you're being led by something that is guiding you. And each time that happens, you end up almost, it's almost like the student that keeps surpassing the teacher. It's, and then so spirit brings something else in for you. Okay, here, we have new guides. Like you, you surpassed them again. And then it got to the, and then it gets to the point where you're controlling the wheel. Like you're controlling the wheel here at this point. And it's allowed you to hatch out. It's a really, uh, a very brand new level of consciousness. It's like the student becoming the master. But there's some sort of a price that you pay along here because it's almost as if growing so fast. You're growing so fast. I get like the nine of emotions, like this is great. You're really reaching, like you, you're you almost like levitating. You're floating on air here and you're creating this wonderful, happy, joyous energy around you. But now wait a second, these two cards here, it's so interesting. You have the six of emotion, the six of cups and then the four of cups. It's like you've left, you've almost left, you've left something behind that you shouldn't have left behind. Or you're feeling it. You're feeling that of what you've left behind. Because like I said, it's almost like, okay, you get almost like if you were like a genius student of life or some element of your life or some realization you had, or you're just taking certain steps and chances or... I don't know what you're doing specifically, but you're kind of changing how the book was written. I say you're in some sort of a, like, it's like the school of life here, your school of life on earth. And it's almost like you're skipping grades that you just, you keep going further ahead. Okay, we'll get, uh, put them in this grade, put them in this class, give them this instructor. And it's just like, you keep surpassing it. And all of a sudden you get to like this high climb. Now you're, maybe you just graduated from like life school, university, and you're 12. <laughs> it's almost like that. And so then you get there like, wow. And then there's this feeling of all that you've left behind. Some of it's probably okay, but some of it might not be for you. Like you're feeling it. It's almost like you've pulled away so quickly that there's some part of your soul here that's connected maybe like, maybe back in, <laughs> graduated from university, but you know, 
four years ago you were in grade three <laughs> and you're you're feeling like the loss of that it's almost like you left some sort of innocence or it could even be a connection because you just moved so fast you just moved so fast here Sagittarius It's almost like going through massive growing, a massive growth spurt. And then at the end of it, then you feel all the growing pains. It's like you didn't feel them during it, but then you feel it all at the end. Yeah, like you kind of go, it's almost like, you're kind of like you've reached this climax, this epitome. You've become the Queen of Pentacles in a very short period of time for, for whatever that is. But there's almost like a price to pay to go that fast. Like perhaps the intellectual level of you was fine. The physical part of you was fine with all of this. And it didn't really give a lot of time for the emotional part to catch up. When I pulled this card out, I want, I honest to God, I thought it was going to say the two of emotions because it looked like two like coming together in a kiss, but it's the four. So it's like a missed opportunity. That's what I'm saying. There's something that you, you leaped, but I don't feel like you've done like this. It wasn't wrong or spirit wouldn't have been uh, going along with this, like whatever you've created for yourself. But you've definitely left something behind here. That's what I really want to clarify. I'm going to just kind of move these down. And I'm going to bring these down. The nine of emotions is you've got it. Like, and you are. Because there's, I like to call it like two. It is like the... The genie in the bottle, your wish is my command with the nine of emotions or the nine of cups. Because your 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 own frequency is resonating at the same as that of the universe. So the universe hears you. You want to manifest something, we're right there with you. You got it. I mean, you worked in conjunction here to the point that you really elevated things. But then this gets there's something it's almost like, well. You know, it's almost like the genie is down here looking at you. Now you've become the inspiration. You see that? How you were small and something inspired you. And then you've become the inspiration. You've become almost like this big object, this big inspirational object. But there's something here that's missing that got left behind. You could t say, too, a little bit like, you know, I mean, they kind of say, like, it's lonely at the top. It's almost like you get to the top and you realize, oh, it is, but I didn't see that as I was going. Okay, so you hit the nine of emotions. Yeah, look, success. Oh, gosh, look at this. Something is, okay, you have success. You find success there. You've got movement, you want to look at the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Six of Emotions, where we're going. You've got that success, but there's something here that got missed. It just reminds me of this genie in the bottle, though, like, sort of like, yes, you become the inspiration. There's two ways that I see this. You now become this big inspiring you but the genie almost sits down here as if to say well i've given you everything you can have but you say well there's something that's missing i can feel it and maybe it is like your childhood or something that like you didn't get to develop you know that whole idea of how quickly you moved through here if you did all of that like as a kid through school you would miss like this, like just being silly. Like let's go in, let's let's sit on this suitcase and pretend that we're taking a, a spaceship plane to Saturn or Jupiter. Yeah, it looks like Saturn. And we're gonna like, like you missed this. You missed the fun. Where's the fun? Where's, I'm hearing like, where's Stacy from grade 
paid for. <laughs> like that kind of, what? Oh yeah, what happened? Like, where did that all go? Like kind of surrounded by all these adults and, but you're the big inspiration now. But this is like, oh, wait a second. The six of emotions, the six of emotions. Look, well, well, how does this get served? All these deep emotions you have here. Looking out, where is that? It's almost like you achieved everything else, but where's this deep emotional connection? And then the four of emotions, like realizing, oh, I missed it. Well, I didn't do that great. <laughs> I didn't do that. The four of emotions. The fool, the world, the king of pentacles, and the page of pentacles. Ah, see, you have the queen of materials. The queen of pentacles is your underlying. Yeah, I'm really, for me lately, well, all my tarot cards go through different little, what they mean the most. This fool lately has been a lot to me of um, unconventional. Like what I just described was very unconventional. Very unconventional. It You push through a cycle like super fast. Like start, finish, start, finish, start, finish, start, finish. And here though, this has the energy of connection to me. Here we go. I know they're different decks, so it might be hard to visualize, but the meaning is there for me because now you have the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the and like the broken heart. The mind and the heart are not coming together here. Like this, this combination right here is a counterpart combination. And then what does it create? You could have like a family, children. Maybe you maybe you already have this, but you've been working so hard on something that the focus has been moved away from this, or you've been so focused on job and career and achievement or travel, whatever it could be for you, something, it's like something is there for you. I don't feel like it's gone, but I almost feel like you're, you're like, well, now, now I'm ready for it, but it's not really even there with the Four of Cups. So I kind of want to pull I want to pull one more card. I mean, just even looking at this, though, I can't say that you aren't going to achieve this, but I feel like you're feeling it. If you're not feeling it yet, like maybe you feel yourself on different parts of this timeline story here. Because you may not even feel it until all of a sudden you've reached the epitome of your success. And then that's when it hits you. And two, it's lonely at the top, right? Like whatever the success is too. If, if you've done something or you've, uh, and it could be anything, like maybe you, like I don't know, you could become rich and famous. You could um, have achieved like even uh, blogging. I don't know. Like it's just something for you where you were inspired. You went through this hu huge process and now you've become the inspiration. It's lonely at the top because who, who can sit there with you? I'm sorry, this feels so harsh, but that's kind of what I'm getting. I'm gonna pull out another deck. No, I'm gonna work, no, 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 no. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm pulling out the other one, but I'm leaving these two that are your underlying. The four of emotion. I feel like we need one more card here just to give me, give me some sort of idea. After the four of emotion, wow, like, yeah, that's so funny because that came out. What the fuck? The five of voices, the eight of inspiration. I love it. It comes back, whatever it is, or it comes to you. Because you are at a level of high manifestation, but it's almost like realizing, oh, I didn't manifest that. Because oh. the five of voices, like the five of swords, so something has departed, something has ended. But this to me, I find this is such a beautiful five of voices because it's like the olive branch. Something that 
you perhaps left behind, something that was left behind, something that got uh, pulled away from you. It's like the universe brings in this little olive branch of opportunity. And then you have the eight of inspiration, which is like the eight of wands. Movement, <laughs> movement, baby, movement, communication. It's almost like you see exactly what you want and you always and you're doing that domino effect thing again <laughs> that is oh no you're combining this right like we were talking about this um sort of all these all these little white spirit guides and then this is still sort of the same thing but they appear as like these black dominoes so here i'm just getting like that now we have the combination of these white and these black lines so you still like you're using everything that you've learned but you're going to go towards something where I feel like, yeah, it's like all this emotional stuff sitting at the top, at the top of the pyramid. Oh, well, wait a second. The hanged muse and the page of materials. The devil, oh, there's so much at the bottom. We're just going to stick what your original was here. All right. There you go. The two of pentacles. Yeah, there's been a lot, to, a lot of choices and decisions to make, a lot of juggling. That was really interesting. That was different. I could see why I needed a different deck. Like that's not a story that would easily come out, which is the regular tarot. So you've left, you've just moved so fast that something's been left behind here. And literally once you get to the point of feeling like this absolute success, like, and it's not as if this is a fake happiness. It's the nine of emotions. It's elevated. It's realizing how much um, power you have in yourself and you've executed it and used it and creating the life that you want. And then that's when all of a sudden, oh, there's something here. I'm missing something. Maybe you don't even know what you're missing. Maybe you don't even know it's Stacy from Grace, whatever it is. But you just feel it, that it's missing. It got missed in this huge uh, tsunami of movement and manifestation that you created. There you go. I'm going to go do the extended for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.